Alright, hello, yeah, this is the first time that I'm gonna record my voice, well, like a shout out to all the NBA fans around the world that are really excited to see the NBA playoffs. Alright, so, well, this is for Taiki TV, and please bear with me, this is my original voice, very lovely voice, and... Please like and subscribe if you like me. So today we are going to talk about NBA playoffs. We are going to discuss the play-in tournament of the NBA. So yeah, you know we're waiting for the NBA playoffs to to happen. Okay. So by the way, if you're going to ask what is the play-in tournament, how does it really work? Okay, um, yeah, we're going to answer how it really works right here. <laughs> Alright, but first things first, I would like to give credits to NBA for giving the time-to-time -time update about the NBA statistics. This is a big help for us, you know, to identify the precise details of our favorite team. Well, um, we all know that the playoffs is fast approaching. By the way, the NBA have already released the schedule and the given date of it is on April 16, 2022. Well, the playoffs is getting more interesting and more competitive, especially when they have included the play-in tournament. Like, you know, it's very competitive. And uh, I also believe that uh, some of us think that the NBA before is more competitive than today. Oh, uh, honestly, there's no reason for us to think that today is less competitive. That's right! Every era is different. Yeah, all sports are competitive, alright? Yeah, that's why we're here. That's why people involved into a sport because it's competitive. We enjoy every level of the competitive nature of every sport. Yeah, that's why we really want to join sport, right? But you cannot compare the competitive nature of an era. There are lots of talents for today. Especially with the NBA, yeah, different styles, different strategies, like, it's really amazing. All we need to do is to appreciate the things that we have right now and before. Alright, so, anyway, let's move on. Alright, so, yeah, let's go back to our topic, the playoffs. Okay, by the way. What is play-in? Okay, so the play-in is an identifier of the final 7th seed and the 8th seed. Okay, so yeah, many of us wonder why they need to do this. For me, my own opinion is to give chance for so the 9th and 10th seed. Like everybody knows, most teams in NBA are very competitive. Like it's really hard to get into that spot, like where they are right now. You know, the efforts, the time, the the money, yeah, all the stuff involved are really significant. Like if you could end this type of uh, season. You know, it's it's really unfair for the teams who work so hard. Like, especially uh, the situation before, uh, there are lots of teams who ended the season with identical wins and losses. Or if it's not identical, it's near to their stats. So yeah, in short, Play in 
for me uh, is good especially with competitive teams that's right it seems like they have given the chance to compete again well uh, it also give the eight and ninth seed the confidence wow. that they they will play into the regular playoffs so yeah um when will be the playing tournament so yeah the playing tournament will be played on april 12 to 15 2022 and it means that within three days it would produce the final seventh and eighth seed so what are the teams involved the teams involved are the seventh eight ninth and ten so it means yeah the eight is not yet eight and eight can become seven and seven can become eight or worse they can't get either Aww. oh so yeah let's take a look at these details that we have here today March 31st 2022 yeah it's turn daylight time all right uh, this is the updated Western and Eastern Conference standings. Okay, so let's take a look at this Western Conference standing first. All right, as you can see, the Phoenix is leading and followed by Memphis Grizzlies, Dallas Mavericks, Golden State Warriors, Utah Jazz, Denver Nuggets, Minnesota Timberwolves, LA Clippers, New Orleans Pelicans, San Antonio Spurs, and Los Angeles Lakers, uh, yeah, which is tied up with San Antonio Spurs. Um, okay, so <laughs> yeah, let's see the stats right here. Yeah, um, uh, as you can see right here, the OKC and the Houston Rockets are already eliminated. So they don't have any chances to get into the play-in. While the Portland, Sacramento, and Los Angeles, um, they have a chance, but, you know, a little chance. Although San Antonio Spurs and Los Angeles Lakers are having, <coughs> yeah, they're having identical stats right here. But uh, we all know that the chemistry of LA Lakers is really different right now. Okay, let's move in the East. Alright, in the Eastern Conference standings, the Miami Heat, yeah, is in the number one spot right now, but still have chances to change. And the um, Milwaukee Box is following the Miami Heat so close with the heat right and the Boston Celtics Philly Chicago Toronto Cleveland and of course the Brooklyn Nets yeah Charlotte Atlanta so anyway in the east you can actually see that the final 10 are clear right so the New York Washington Indiana Detroit and Orlando Magics are eliminated Aww. yeah you can see the significance of the play in tournament with this one especially when you see the Brooklyn Charlotte and Atlanta yeah they have identical stats right here so they, they play so hard like they really deserve to be on the playoffs and it's really exciting when you see these teams competing with their own grit 
So every game is important right now. Very important. They need to win every game so that they could secure the sixth spot. Alright? So, anyway, um, there are lots of teams right here who can actually get the sixth spot, including the Cleveland, Brooklyn, Charlotte, and Atlanta. So, how do play in tournament work? Alright, I'm going to explain this to you. Okay, so we're going to use the, the data that we have for March 31st, 2022. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Yes, you can see I filled all those spots according to the current rankings of uh, the NBA teams. As you can see, the 8th seed and 7th seed are both empty. So, uh, there is like an identifier right there. Yeah, it seems that the 9th and 10th seed can get the 8th seed, while the 8th and 7th need to face each other to get the 7th seed. Whoever win the battle between 7 and 8 can secure the 7th seed while the loser needs to face the winner of 9th and 10th. It simply means that the 9th and 10th are having a do or die situation and the 7 and 8 should not lose more than 1. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll let you understand how the playoffs works, especially with the play-in tournament that the NBA is having. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Once again, this is Sports IQ TV. Bye for now.